Hi, my name is Jeannie Nethery, and I'm the development manager here at Heinz Hospice. Um, I'm just really grateful to the chamber for the activities that they provide, um, all the opportunities for mixers um, to make professional connections, to make friends, um, and I'm really missing it right now. So um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what Heinz Hospice does. We are a nonprofit hospice, uh, one of two in the community. And um, we've been caring for over 350 patients each day in their own homes, in facilities, and in our Heinz Hospice uh, inpatient facility here in Fresno. So since COVID-19 hit, um, it has affected us. Um, we are an essential business, as we're healthcare. So we've implemented a lot of screenings for our patients, for their family members, and for all of our staff. Um, we provided PPE, um, protective equipment, for all of our clinical staff and for our staff working in the office. Um, we've started doing remote work for a lot of our non-clinical staff, so most of us are working from home now. Um, changes for our Center for Grief and Healing also. Uh, we provide support groups and individual counseling for anyone who's suffered a loss. You don't have to be a hospice family. Um, anyone in the community is welcome. So we've started doing our groups via Zoom and um, some telephone calls, video conferencing, things like that. Um, our thrift stores, we have three thrift stores, one here in Clovis, one in Chowchilla, and one in Madeira. They're all temporarily closed. And um, a really big hit is our Angel Babies Walk Run had to be modified this year. Virtual, we held it on Facebook, and it was a great day, but we're still about $40,000 behind on our fundraising. So we just want you to know how you can help us, or how, actually how we can help you first. Um, we are here 24 seven um, to answer your calls. If you have questions about hospice care, if a family member is ready, how it works, we're here for you, 226-5683. Uh, grief support is available to anyone. You can visit us online, heinzhospice.org. And we could use some help from you also. If you can, um, you can donate at lovehinds.org. Um, you can also buy a Home of Hope ticket. We are one of the nonprofit beneficiaries for Granville's Home of Hope. Um, we need masks and gowns donated, and if you could hold on to your thrift store donations and donate that to us when we reopen, that would be great. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone again when we reopen. Thank you so much.